so hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here karibu sana if you've not subscribed please don't forget to hit that button down here below and let me before i forget let me shout out to the new subscribers i can continue sana to you see like the way the numbers are moving ah oh, i cannot even believe it like even this week i was i was quite hibernating i was not feeling like shooting anything you know i was under the weather kidogo but where for you new subscribers for the returning subscribers every one of you you know i really appreciate you guys so consistency 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 so on today's video i'm gonna show you guys a very simple is it even simple yeah it's my go-to um recipe for when i'm under the pressure to impress yeah i have become what i have become before yeah <laughs> yeah so <laughs> when i'm under the pressure to impress you know my visitors um i don't know but yeah this is the recipe i go to and what am i even talking about i'm talking about my chapo and minced meat recipe so mainly it's all about the chapo so yeah without further ado and come on makula my chapos you know you know it's it's the chapo of all chapos. <laughs> I know I am blowing my trumpet a lot. Without further ado, I'm gonna show you the ingredients. Definitely the unga, lazima ikuwe. Um, after kidogo, yeah, this is oil. Mm -hmm. Oil kidogo. Kachumbi namna this. Kasukari, yeah. So let us get to the oh and some water so this is um it's slightly above room temperature so see room temperature water but maji i really don't see the difference whether it's room temperature or not there's no difference so my first step oh and you might be wondering why i'm using a whisk me by the way this thing makes a difference this is like the game changer for me yo kazi ya kukoroga na nini nini it makes everything okay the secret to amazing chapatis is how you candle them from the initial candling stage yes so so you usually make sure everything is fine this is just like oh, technology yeah it's here to make your life easier but like koroga for a long time you can just koroga kidogo kidogo raka raka and you're done you know so Sugar to taste. Honestly, me me na pimanga na na macho. Until my ancestors tell me it is enough, I keep adding. Na na ika tu kidogo na na taste. Then salt kidogo to taste. Actually, salt ni le ina taste kumbali. Bora tu just you know. Ni kama merushia ka something like that. Salt still lazima sana, but lazima it taste kidogo. But the sugar, it's a must for me, for my chapel. So, come on, see what kweka sukari. Well, it is what it is, man. You can, you can skip that part. rest for 30 minutes at least 30 minutes or to one hour so in the meantime i'm gonna cover it with this bowl that i was using to to kanda or to knead so this is minji and this is minced meat so i'm gonna pre-boil them separately and then when i am now frying i'll fry them together as the stew that we're gonna eat with this chapo yeah so let me go prep the ingredients and then we do the magic. So 
this is the minced meat that I had pre-boiled, yeah. So I'm putting it here so that it can drain the excess water, and then we get to the frying. So let it finish the water, then we can fry. In the meantime, yeah. In the meantime, let us um, pack up our futa. So the spices I'm using are cumin and nutmeg and um, this rico food.
Yum. Soft. I don't know if you can see how soft yeah, and layered they are. Yeah, so. So subscribe, like, share, comment. Bye.